Hi, this is Mark from Radiolingua, and I'm here to help you with a little issue that has been happening since iTunes was updated a couple of weeks ago to version 11.1. Now, in actual fact, in the past couple of days, iTunes has been updated again to 11.1.1, and with this update, we're finally able to get things back up and running with podcasts. There's been lots of discussion online about the issues with podcasts, but hopefully now we'll be able to get things back up and running and everyone will be able to access the feeds that they've purchased through our system. Now, some of you have been experiencing problems with iTunes the minute you launch it, because of course when iTunes launches, it starts to look for active feeds in the podcast section and updates those feeds. And if some of those feeds require passwords and usernames, then that's where things are causing a problem. So I would suggest the first thing that you do is disconnect from your network by turning the Wi-Fi off or indeed unplugging your cable if that's the way you do things. Then we need to come into podcasts on iTunes and select the podcast in question that's causing you problems. And then either control click or right click on the podcast and you'll notice that I'm viewing my podcast in the My Podcasts area here. So by control clicking on it or right clicking on it, I have the option to delete that podcast. So this is the podcast that's causing me problems. So I'm going to delete the podcast feed. And there will be episodes associated with that podcast that I have stored locally on my computer. Now you can choose to save these and simply access them from your hard disk. Or indeed you can remove them and send them to the trash and start afresh with the new feed. So that's the first thing that we've done. We've deleted the podcast while we are disconnected from the network. If you have launched iTunes and it's started the problem, then force quit iTunes, disconnect from your network and then launch iTunes again. So now we can turn Wi-Fi back on or connect our Ethernet cable once more and uh, iTunes will be fine because it's not trying to look for that podcast all the time. Okay, what we need to do now is update iTunes. So if you've not already done so, check for updates in the iTunes menu, and this will allow you to update to version 11.1.1. Once you've updated, we're back at podcasts, and we now need to find the correct feed once more. So if we go to the members area on the Radiolingo website, I'm looking for Coffee Break French Level 1, and the particular feed that I have access to is Coffee Break French Level 1 Gold. So I'm just going to click on the one-click option here, and this will take me straight to iTunes, and I will be asked for my password again. So when I enter my password, then uh, iTunes correctly goes off to the, the server, picks up the correct information, and we'll see here that the premium subs- subscription confirmation has been listed here in iTunes. However, this is where things are slightly different in the podcast version as it is now. You'll notice I once again have things selected in my podcast, so I would have all my podcasts organized here in the order that I want. If I go to the list and uh, expand the arrow. This is where we used to see the whole list of files. But at this point, there's no obvious way to see the other files associated with this particular podcast. If I come back to my podcasts, we do have this option here, old episodes. So this is assuming that a podcast is ongoing and that we're adding to it every week. And of course, Coffee Break French level one is not like that. That's a, a finished series of podcasts, if you like. So if I click on old episodes, you now see the entire list of episodes of all of the files that we are used to seeing. And we can either click add all or we can select particular episodes to be added. So I select the ones I want to add, click done, and you'll now see that I've got the option to download these episodes. So if I click on the download button, they start to download and I can now access these podcasts without a problem. Now, the username and password is stored in iTunes, so I don't need to think about entering that each time. But that's a little different from the Podcasts app, the Apple Podcasts app on iOS, which does require you, unfortunately, at this stage, to enter the username and password each time you download a protected file. One other thing to mention is that you should see that we've updated our logos here for the Radiolingua premium feeds. They'll all have members across the top here, and that suggests that these are updated feeds that should work correctly with iTunes 11.1.1.
I hope this video has been useful to you and good luck with your continued language learning.